Hello Annihilation fans, this is Shadow Fury 333 with a bit of a change in my usual fare. Normally I'm doing 0k. For those of you not familiar, it is a spring game based well, it's Spring is an engine that was based off of the original Total Annihilation, originally used as a replay viewer, which ended up becoming an engine that supported a bunch of games, all of which almost all of which, based on Total Annihilation in one way or another. 0k is the most popular of these. It's kind of like a hybrid between Total Annihilation and Command and Conquer, to put it in very short terms. But I decided to play around with the PA Titans thing because I happened to get it. I was I was a Kickstarter backer because this is kind of a wheelhouse. If for those of you not familiar with my worth my work, I basically have apart from Zero K. Before that, I did a bunch of Acron videos. I was basically the Acron guy. So experimental total annihilation based RTS is kind of in theory a mix of all the things I like. But for whatever reason, the original Planetary Annihilation failed to grab me. But I decided. I'll give Titans a fair shake, tried it out, and I actually found it to be fairly engaging, at least for the first, like, ten minutes, which wasn't bad, so figured let's give this game an actual fair shake. I have had a small chance to edit some things to you know, make the UI a bit more what I want it to be. For example, I've changed... They actually added some really nice UI features, for example... And one of the big things I think that made me not like PA at first was that the building UI had no real hotkeys associated with it, and that was a major problem for me. Whereas now they actually have a proper construction hockey system, and it's not that unreasonable. Basically you have, well, it's kind of like 0K for those of you familiar with that, so it's known as ZX, well, XCV by default. I changed it to ZC and X because that, that it's my But that was actually a pretty big change for me. I still think that I'd rather the UI be a bit more... Oh, I gotta turn this up. Now, zoom in. Is that properly pinned? There we go. I've noticed this to be a pretty handy way of dealing with the complexity. Anyway, let's go. So I haven't had a huge amount of time to play around with PA as it is now. It did seem a little bit maybe more reasonably paced? I'm not entirely sure. It might still be as as extremely quick as it used to be. I mean, the game was an extremely quick game in terms of how many how quickly units would live and die. And I didn't like it as much. It's one of the things I like about Zero K is that it doesn't feel like units are that expendable. But that's just part of PA, so. Now, I'll try not to judge it based on that. Try to judge it instead based on what it's trying to be. As soon as my opponent actually picks their stuff. There we go. So yeah, this is... So, this is what I meant. This this UI thing, the fact that they added this, for me, is a huge deal. Oops. Yeah, that's right. I'll have to get that. Actually, just get four, and then... Although I'm going to have some weird habits, like, if you notice I'm building my power plants the way I am, that's a 0k habit that I'm not going to try to shake them Oh, crap, I went for air. Oh well, not bad. One thing I wish is that this was not... Like, if I press this, just let it go. Do a thing. Oh. Let's see, yeah, two scouts and our fabricator should work okay. Or fighters, I mean, not scouts. Eh, it works fine. As any good Zero K player knows, fighters work fine as scouts. Actually, let's go. What do I need? This is the opposite side of the planet, just use that. Go there, find me things. So, I mean, one thing that you will notice for anyone who actually knows what they're doing with Planetary Annihilation will know that I am doing this wrong. Enemy commander detected. Right. They will no doubt see that I'm doing a lot of things very wrong because I'm not really that used to the way Planetary Annihilation in particular works. For example, I'm building a lot of... Maybe I'm building too many resources early on. I'm not entirely sure. This is... <laughs> Bearing in mind I'm used to a game where you basically have one factory the entire game. So that does make a difference. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking I might not want to have... How many are the... of you are there? Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do much da- Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I've got to- I need to get more factories. That's a thing I'm going to have to remember to do. You, abort what you were doing. 
You build build the power plants that I want the other person to build. I wish space click were a thing. Like as in I could change the queue or I can add something to the beginning of a queue by hitting space. That would be very nice. <laughs> That'd be one of those things I would rather enjoy to have in this game. That is, however, not a thing. Alright, so I was finding they had stuff. So you can bomb it out with the closest thing this game has to a raven. And you are a constructor, you're doing your thing. No, oh, no, it didn't. Yeah, this pin to opposite side thing isn't as useful as it may seem at first, just because it's like it's useful, it's really handy, but it doesn't seem to pin in the most useful way. Shoot, I lost that bomber. Okay, so one of the biggest gripes about planetary annihilation has not changed, which is that it's very difficult to figure out what's going on on the other side of the planet. Alright, well, apparently fabrication vehicles have substantially changed as well, so I might as well try playing around with those. Just assist this thing. Alright. So if I'm not going to be able to beat them with... Where's my scouts? I've got scouts. I must have scouts. Alright. You find other things. Find things I haven't found yet. Or just... Okay, this is my base. No, this is their base. Ah, looking at the wrong window. You find things I haven't found yet because they're bound to be doing stuff around here somewhere. Let's keep my eyes peeled on that. Hmm. What? Seriously, no expansion? I mean, I should probably be expanding more myself, but... Oh, what are you doing? See, this is what I mean. I'm still... Not entirely used to the pace of this game, which is kind of funny because 0k is also a rather fast game, but whatever, that's a thing. Also, it occurs to me I'm going the wrong way. Also, also occurs to me I should probably have done these as a patrol order, not as a move order. Just so I know what's going on around the periphery of their base because I want to know where they're expanding. Basically, if I can find weak points, I need to find weak points to work with because I can't. I can't hit any of their strong points. Oh, there we go. There's a weak point. Potentially. You, bomber, go deal with that. Everything else, you just move. I'm kind of curious if, gonna have, if they have any air defenses, but I guess not. And it looks like... Bombers do nothing to metal extractors. That is entirely unlike my intuition. i got to be honest, I was expecting more. I, I really was genuinely expecting that it would actually... Uh, do these things hit ground? I don't think they can. No, they are not swifts. They cannot hit ground. Anyway. No, I was genuinely pretty sure that I would be able to do that, and clearly I'm not, and you... What am I thinking? Oh. And there's no Area Max command. There's this, but it's not quite Area Max. When I say Area Max, for those of you who, aren't, who don't play 0K, what I mean is an actual dedicated command instead of doing you know, economy, metal extractor, and then move. It's just, you hit a command, it automatically does that for you. More yes, yes, I get that. I'm building more maxes. So, it would appear... Well, <laughs> that's probably the best place to go. I would take out the peripheral metal extractors. That I think I'm gonna win this game at this rate. So I take out the peripheral metal extractors. Make sure to get rid of the units they have. Oh yes, now I have these guys. How long do metal extractors take to build? Oh, and this is idle, not good. It just occurs to me now that I can't actually morph my commander, which is odd that I'd say that. But yeah. I I can't do anything with this commander except kill stuff with it. Oh! Oh, right! They have those... They aren't quite ticks. Actually, it's more like Venoms. Actually, do those have... Is that an EMP effect or is that just damage? What the... Okay, I was entirely wrong. I don't know what the heck they're doing. No, you're not five. You're, you're not that you have five. This is five. Oh. That would be the anti-air. 
Ah, mm. uh, if only space click worked in this game. I don't regret the absence of line move, although I realize there's a mod for that. I do quite like that in Zero okay? or Spring Games in general, but yeah, it's not that huge here, I don't think, necessarily. It's nice, but I don't know if I'd call it an absolute must-have feature. It is very nice, though. Okay, what do I have for fighters at this point? Get over here? Okay. What the heck was that? Oh. Hmm. Not the most damaging unit out there, but still not nothing. Okay, so they're they're a I have my A. Although it occurs to me that's probably a bad idea to advance with this because I don't have actually any AA at the moment. Reduce that, add more AA, kill things. Oops. There we go. Actually, wait, where's is AA in here at all? Oh, it just occurs to me I should do this. Oh, I can do this. All right, good. <sighs> oh, I feel silly. I had advanced vehicle and air factory to work with, and more resources to be gained. I've been accessing this entire time. Oh, wait, is that? Shoot, I missed that. Yes, I realized that. Thank you. Actually, do I have any other... No, I don't. Shoot. No, oh, whoops. <sighs> Alright, I'm not sure why they don't think I'm here. I am here! I am definitely here! Why... Oh, crap. <sighs> so much to get used to. So little time. Especially the absence of the proper control Z. I'm expecting control Z. Oh crap, that's. I just screwed myself over. I've totally screwed myself over right now, because I just put fabricators in with my. No, this is one. And whatever else comes out of the factory that. Why is there no auto group in this game? That's another thing. Where's the auto group? What is this thing? Oh, that's the flame tank. Why did I start building those? Or is this... I can't recognize anything. I don't know anything is. I did not put fabricators in my group. I was fine. Oh, great. I'm feeding them metal. Right, right. Now Planetary Annihilation has this as a mechanic. Forgot about that. Actually has reclaim. I don't know why I'm forgetting about things that I'm used to. I'm used to that mechanic. That, that's bad. <sighs> okay, well, clearly this first game is not going well for me. Since I don't know half of what's supposed to happen. I'll just go with the thing that I think is the thing that I think it is. Which is the leveler. I doubt it's the thing that I think it is. But hey, it's something. I guess more factories? I feel like my opponent's probably going for something orbital. What are these? Oh, they are fabrication vehicles. Okay, well, whatever, you're here. Reclaim. I genuinely expected that to be purple. Deny my enemy reclaim. At the very least, that's something. That's the least you can do. I've seen more things to spend it on. Where's my command? Oh, I can't select command with Control C. Crap. And my command is actually doing things. Wait, no. That's back. Which one's the? I don't know what's happening anymore. 
Do I have any? I'd love to build more units. Why am I not? Am I not building more units? You guys assist. Actually, assist each factory individually. This is getting embarrassing. Oh crap, they have Wolverines or whatever the equivalent is in this game. Oh, that's a, that's a unit cannon. What the heck? What? Oh, these are not... These are Infernos. <laughs> but I guess this will work. Defense crawl. I realize it's a weird way to play this game, but I honestly don't know what the proper way is. Oh crap. I didn't realize NG's died so fast. I really didn't realize that. And now I'm dead. And how much do they have? Where's my Oh crap. Hit the Q. Do I have anything that's good for this sort of thing? Wait, am I... Don't tell me I, I stopped all production of my mainline production units. I... No, they're being produced too, just not as much. Not enough. <sighs> I'm sorry. For anyone who's watching, I'm sorry that I'm not particularly competent at this game. I, like I said, have not played it much. At all, and I realize I'm kind of mono spamming into a brick wall, so I probably should stop doing that. So this is where I would really like line move. Nope. <sighs> That's the problem. My muscle memory for the Area Mex command I mentioned before that is on cue. That is what I expect the command to be bound to. Okay, Roach just seemed like a really hard idea to actually make work viably. But I suppose it's worth trying. Or I should say, well, explosive robot like that, yeah. Which is what I mean when I'm referring to the... When I'm referring to the Roach, because that is what it is. Well, that's what it is in 0k. I'm going to be using 0k names for a lot of things. I apologize. Oh, I had some other stuff coming out of here too, didn't I? Some anti-air stuff, which is actually going to be extremely relevant seeing as a lot of air is coming out. Oh yeah, this is actually really useful. This side's probably fairly weak. Let's try to distract from the front along with... The... Oh, sheesh, that's a lot of units. What I wouldn't get for line move right about now. <laughs> this regard as it earlier, I really want line move as a base game thing. I would put mods in, but this won't work in ranked play, which I'm guessing is important. Uh, and I'm still not building enough stuff. At least I have that back door. That's the important thing. Well, Loveless is doing a decent job. Alright. That's good. Ah, finally! I'm spending money properly. Uh, not very much, though. Are there none here? Ah, come on, roaches. Get in. Get in. Wait, where are the roaches? Didn't I have roaches? Oh, explosive. 
Living bomb thing is going on. Didn't have the. No, hold back, hold back. What are you doing here? Oh, hey. Oh, come on, get up, get up here. Especially you, you lot, your flamethrowers. You... Do I have any? Do I have no? I have builders nearby. Okay, good. My only chance. I mean, I'm gonna win this, I guess. This is really weird. How am I winning this game? Beginning anywhere near winning this game? Oh, did I? Oh, is that what's happening on my units? Shoot. Yes, the enemy commander is damaged. It'd be very nice if I could get past this reclaim right here. Where are those fabricators? Oh, they're on their way. Kind of my mistake for having built flamethrowers as my main force. But hey, I'm gonna win. This was a terrible game. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be playing a bit more, though. That was weird. I did that entirely wrong. I'm sure I've got a lot of angry complaints on Twitch from the people watching saying I did that wrong, but unfortunately I was in a bit of a rush, so I don't see them. Maybe I should keep it that way, but I will not. Hooray! I win. That was embarrassing. <laughs> I don't care if I won. I won poorly as far as I'm concerned. Right, well, in that case, I... I'll yeah, just let this thing start up. Let us re -queue. Let's see what's happening. Players in queue zero. Well, that's probably wrong. That's probably incorrect. I do feel weird. The prize tag's really bizarre. Can on? I think you can. That was just really strange. Hmm. Well, it's definitely, at this point, not much easier to control than it used to be. Although I didn't, I did not use the units I actually wanted to use. I was playing around with some of the, I should have gone bot factory because that Grenadier unit that I was looking at, that's actually really handy. Because it takes huge advantage of the terrain modifications, and I think, I think before stuff would actually, would actually care about whether or not you were. Basically, it would care whether or not stuff hit other like if line of sight was blocked. I think, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, what do the commanders even have on hand? Eh, let's try this thing. It looks cool. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure what. What if any line of sight blocking existed in Planetary Annihilation before the Titans patch or before some of the recent patches? I did not play it much. But it's nice that it does exist, and there is that bot unit, the Grenadier unit, that can take advantage of it, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like having things like line of sight blocking because it's more it's more tricky things that I can use, and I like having tricky little things that I can use. I like it a lot. So, once again, there's... Huh. The one start point. I don't think it would be nice would be if... I, I'm going to just... Basically, you know what? I'm not even going to make any UI suggestions anymore. Just If you're curious about the sort of UI I'm used to, just go download 0K. It's free. Play around with it. It's got... It has a lot of cool... Actually, it's not just UI. It's Spring in general. That has UI stuff that I care about. Well, that I, I'm used to, so I quite like because I'm used to it. Because who doesn't like the things they're used to? Anyway... What I was going to say was pre-game queuing. Alright, so I think it was ZF. That is my bot factory. I'm not entirely sure. I was right, it is ZF. Let's try ZF. Even though this looks like a map that's probably better suited for non-bots. And let's try another one. Ah, there's a D's though in those air. Okay. Let's try with that. 
Oh, it is just called Grenadier. And since I like Grenadier so much, let's put it in the queue. Alright. Go there, see what's happening. Oh. That does seem to be a bug. Pin to opposite side does not seem to be the most reliable thing in the world. I found that rather annoying because it's a great feature. I mean, this, this is awesome. The fact that the camera is... Oh, what the hell? The fact that the camera is set... Oh, I see. It's doing edge scrolling on that picture. picture. That's... I don't get that. I do not understand the... Where's the... What? What do I press to get to that? Usually it's space, but it doesn't seem to work here. Nothing to reclaim. All right. That was probably a mistake. You build that. Alright, that's... Where did I find... That's something that's bugging me. Where where was it? If I knew where it was, I would know. I would be able to deal with this. Where was my opponent found? I mean, I was started right next to water. I'm assuming these maps are symmetric, and the last one was. Although, admittedly, it's difficult to tell with this game. But then again, no, I'm here. So my opponent should logically be here. But I haven't found any sign of them. Mm, let's try using some of these new units. Are you going to assist build or not? Hmm. Well, these seem useful as well, so we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I know. Thanks, that's great. I know it's ready. I really should not have gone... Okay, this is a bad idea to go for bots in this map. It will probably bite me. Go here faster, see what's happening. And yes, I'm going to be relying on assist build a lot more than I am on much else. Oh. Can these be ferried? Please tell me they have some sort of fairy interface in this game, that would be awesome. I have no idea, but it would be great if they did. Where the heck is my enemy? Ah, there they are. Get over here? Oh, here! Here they are! This is the this is the matching side. It's right here. Alright, that should be good. I mean, it's gonna be really weird, but yeah, that should... Yeah, there they are. Exactly where they are. I don't know where the commander was, though, and they didn't have much defenses, apparently. Alright, good. Get over here. And then I'll merge you all into one group and attack. Take the high ground first. Now, bombers, as I've found out, do not do especially well against anything. So, I'm just going to put them along the side. Oops, how many of these are there? Well, they're already taking these metal... Oh, shoot! I should be taking more mexes myself. I should also be pinning particular sides of the map. One, X, one... Oh, whoops. Two, X, one... Yeah, I get you guys over here too. Three. I can't. One. I don't know. All right, good. Whatever. That's my base. There's a bunch of other units here too. Where are all my things? Why are you not attacking this metal extractor? It's right here. It's juicy. Okay, that's where the commander is. Got it. Their commander is the only thing in my way at the moment. If I can get everything here... 
Oh, especially with that. With that Grenadier, that's what I want. I want more of those. There's a very good reason for that. Oh, yeah. Put you on four. Put my Air Force in general on four. I want you guys to do... Okay, I probably should split up the... Actually, no, this... This is separate. This is separate. This this needs to be a thing on its own. Can you load and unload stuff? How much can you load and unload? One! Shoot. Oh, darn it. Ah! We got advanced air already. I'm presuming. But, yeah, that didn't look promising. Looks like I'm going to need some dedicated anti-air to deal with that. Luckily for me, I have dedicated anti-air. Okay, clearly I need more everything. That's... That's become obvious. Alright, let's just get this going... Where am I? I got a bunch of you guys. Build an advanced bot factory. Oh. And then... I don't know. Wait, was this not... This wasn't an infinite build. Shoot. Okay, this is not going well. I just... I, just, ah! I can't tell what's happening! I can't hear what's happening for some reason. Probably just gonna get overwhelmed trying to figure out what the heck's going on in the first place, but yeah, I can't hear really what's hap- I'm gonna screw up this game entirely. This, I should know. I should know this. Build economy. Build economy. That's the entire game. Build economy. Get a few of you guys also building economy. Actually... Then ZT, whatever else is needed. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. I'm falling behind because I'm refusing to build economy, and I had it... <sighs> it's honestly kind of how I played Supreme Commander as well, was I basically tried to scout out my opponent's comm and then snipe it. Like, I just... I played a comm snipe, basically. That's that's my general goal, because that's the goal of the game. That's how you win. You, you commander snipe. Therefore, it merely makes the most sense to, as a rule, commander snipe. Where the heck are you going? Hooray! Advanced factory. Now I just need to figure out what I need. Oh, I got a sniper. That's cool. What if it cloaks? Probably not. Okay. Curious about these guys. I was hoping that there would be some sort of dedicated anti air unit, but I guess not. No. Were both my air factories not running? No, they're both running. Okay, good. Yes, I know metal is low. At least I'm using everything I have. One big difference. I'm actually using it all. Although, I really do need to get more energy. That's the biggest thing. Oh, shoot. My dedicated anti-air is out of the... That's game. Basically, my only hope right now is the fact that they're... They're out of position. So I can come in while they're out of position trying to kill my stuff. Because my commander's out of base, so who cares? And it looks like my gambit may have succeeded. It also occurs to me that radar is a thing in this game and I have not been building it. We'll see. Ha ha! Kill that thing! Over there, that one. Down. Shoot. The Grenadiers aren't doing their job fast enough. Did not pay off. Yeah, I'm probably screwed. I can't even... Where the heck are my constructors? Oh, okay, you guys. And radar. That's a thing I should have been building a while ago. I wish that was a priority system in this game. Okay, well, yeah, I'm kind of needing a priority system in this game. I feel pretty embarrassed, too. I thought I had... 
Because, I mean, the Grenadiers would be... If it weren't for the air, if I had decent anti-air, I would have been able to deal with the Grenadiers, or the Grenadiers would have been able to do their job. Because this is high ground, so the nice thing is the high ground is that I can just come in here and then just nail the commander from up here. And if they go back, I destroy the rest of their base. That's the idea. If I win this, I'm going to be very surprised. I don't think I have a chance. Almost wish I'd run some fabricators in there. Yeah, I'm screwed. I think I almost wish I'd run some fabricators in there. Just to, just to build defenses. Just to build anti-air defenses on the front lines. Which probably would do nothing because they're probably not going to be that useful against the advanced air units coming in there. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's something, but this is just not going my way. Oh, crap, I've got nothing building energy right now. Okay, they're dead. I, I think this is game. Don't completely want to call it, but I'm pretty sure I gotta call it. It's no point. That's not happening. So there are clearly still things that I'm missing about how this game is supposed to work. Such a... Which is weird. Like, I don't know why I'm missing these things. I'm just feeling I'm overwhelmed by so many things. Like I said, I don't... I've never really played this game, so it's... But it's weird. Like, I've played other TA-based games. i played 0K a lot. So you think, I played 0K. Therefore, i played TA-based games. And 0K is a really, really, really fast TA-based game. Like... So you'd figure that I'd know how to build my economy right. But on the other hand, I'm also... I tend to go for cheese builds. I tend, or not cheese builds. I tend to go for tricky strategies and tend to go for wins that are based off of properties of the units. Like try to win based off of unit counters or win based off of, in this case, comp sniping. I tend not to try to win just based on overwhelming my opponent. That's not my style in practice. That's why I like 0k, because I can actually get away with that. Sometimes. Not in common, common catcher redux, no, but on a lot of maps, you kind of can. Wow. Oh. I almost got a match there. So, that said, waiting for another match. Okay, remember, economy. Economy. This is a game about economy. This is a game about large numbers of units, not just one... Well, okay. Yeah, one factor, I suppose, spamming with a bunch of assists. Yeah, it's not about that. It's about just lots of stuff. Building economy. That's the name of the game. And no, I don't expect you to, to see any Titans anytime soon. I mean, I'm reluctantly getting to, to two for all... I mean, to tech 2, I mean, let alone to whatever tier 3 titan, I don't know, Krogoth Gantry or whatever it is, that you have to make in order to make titans in this game. I honestly have no idea how you even make titan titans. I haven't gotten that far. I haven't really looked. My guess is that it's the advanced fabricators. If it's... Oh. But given that it works out the total annihilation tech system where tech, tech 1 units build factories, which build tech 2, or tech 1... Sorry. Commander builds factories, which build tech 1 builders, which builds... Tech 2 factories, which build Tech 2 builders, which probably then build the gantries or whatever you need to build titans, which then build the titans. That's probably how it works. It might, all, might however, be the Spring Commander method where the experimentals are built by the top-level constructors. I have no idea. I'm very curious. And I'm probably going to lose. But who cares? I don't. I don't. I'm learning. I am learning things. I am learning. Losing is mandatory. <laughs> or so I've been told. So where are we now? Okay, this one's definitely another vehicle game. Vehicles. Actually, notice one thing I'm noticing. I don't know if it's because of the fact that they have the ramps and cliffs, although I do quite like that. But it seems like these planets, maybe just because they're handmade planets, they have a much better metal spread. Like, it was one thing that really annoyed me about the original... I think one of the big things that annoyed me was that it felt like the metal spread was kind of random. in the orig like Originally, like just out of the gate, planetary annihilation... 
It was just metal everywhere, but it didn't feel like there was any real logic to any of it. I think I'm gonna go with two factories and then mexes. Seems like you start with a lot of money in this game, so it might be able to. Let's see. Hopefully that happens in order. Oh wait, I don't want these. That's why I'm getting confused. I didn't check how much. All oh, right. Pin to opposite side. Kind of wish that just happened automatically every game. How much water is there? No, there is no water. So drifters are probably still useful, but not. Wow, that's actually a lot of damage dealt. More expensive though. Hmm. Yeah, eh, that's probably all right. All right. So let's find my opponent. Who has got to be in a... There's probably here. Oh, actually, it occurs to me that one thing I've been forgetting this entire time has been radar, which is honestly surprises me. Because I like radar a lot. It's one of my favorite mechanics in Total Annihilation-based games. How am I forgetting that it exists? So they're probably over here, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's the. I don't know. It's either here or here. And where's the air factory I built? That's doing nothing. He's actually did a pretty decent job, so try them out. And yeah, it does look like I can actually get away with a lot of factories before I have to worry about any sort of power, or any resource draw. At this point, I could probably get away with another one. Oh, what I wouldn't give for space build. I mean, for... When I say space build, what I'm referring to, for those of you who are not familiar with Spring Engine, is the fact that in that engine, in those games, if you hit the space bar, or hold the space bar as a modifier, because it's Linux space and space bar is an actual modifier in that game, if you hold the space bar as a modifier... There we go. If you hold the space bar as a modifier, it will then treat it as... Ah, I need to get you guys. It will treat it as... Well, it treats it as a modifier, and when you hold it when building things or doing any orders, it will put them at the front of the queue in front of all other orders. That's really handy because it means you don't have to worry about trying to redo orders to get what you need. Found you... Oh. What the heck? Ah, shoot. Move back, hold back, pull back. And you guys go with one here. Let's go in group one. Don't need group two yet. You, I need to be getting more metal. Oh. XT. Eh, that's probably fine. My risky low defense strategy may not be paying off. I'm not entirely sure. My guess is no. Actually. One thing that I really should be doing right about now is setting up more radar. Because I don't know where my I don't know where my enemies are, and there's a lot of map. They could be anywhere, and what are you doing idle? You lay about. Yeah, it's just if it weren't for the fact that I have to hit it for every single unit pretty much. This actually be a fairly efficient, easy interface for that, but not quite, I'm afraid. No. There we go. How much power are these generate individually? 600 individually. Okay, so I gotta worry about that when I start seeing that drop below 600 mark or so. Alright, alright. Let's see if they've expanded to here yet. I have to guess at their expansion locations. Of course, they may have expanded behind as well. And in fact, I want you... Once you're done here, to build more radar. I want to know everything. Oh, hey, look, a unit. Oh! Shoot! 
That's a unit that actually actively counters what I'm using right now. Oh, hey, look, a problem. Well, let's try going through here and then around the back, because I don't think that they are prepped for that. All right, let's see what they have. So radar shows nothing of great interest. Oh, wait, what am I saying? Depending on your point of view, otherwise it may show stuff of monumental interest. All right, where, what is this? That's a fabrication vehicle, I don't care about you. But yes, there is stuff here of monumental interest that I wish to deal with. Ah, grenadiers. They splash damage. Forget it, we're going around back. Get the Infernos. Where are the Infernos? I, I was building those, right? Yes, I was. They're over here. Specialize the factory somewhat. Let, let's do that. Right. Actually, you two, I want you to build me an advanced air factory. Oops. Because that is going to be handy. I think. Actually, you guys might need to deal with that. Okay, this is getting risky. My commander is up front. Actually, my commander should pull back. Okay, that was bad. Where's the leveler? I gotta have something here that's flames. Nope! No, I don't. I think the comm is actually going to survive this, so never mind. This was the right play, I think, though. I may not have enough units to make it work, however. Huh. So I guess bosses have more... F no, the bosses have more firepower, that's for sure. Reclaim, because of course you will. Ah. <sighs> Now they can move through Reclaim Wreckage, but I'm feeding Reclaim Wreckage, which is not what I want to do. And that's anti-air. Ooh, nice, I can get rid of anti-air turret. Free, effectively. Oh shoot, not what I wanted to do. Ah, your D-gun missed me. Everything else hit, however, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Oh, hey, look, an army. Suddenly, an army appeared. Oh, right, it was on two. No, I don't care about... Well, I do care about two. The rest of you guys, however, are on one, and I do care about that, and I care about you on three. Wait, where's their... Where'd their stuff go? Oh, it's over here. Ah, shoot. I need more factories. This, I'm not so used to. The idea that I might have extra factories. <sighs> hmm. Oh. No. T. Get rid of that. No, I need. Okay, and you building stuff. Our backside of the planet basically is mine at this point. Burn them up! Whoa, what the heck just happened? I was about to say burn them all, but apparently that's not on the menu. Shoot. I did not want to see that. I couldn't close my eyes in time. How did they get that far in? Hmm. Okay, what the heck do they have on hand? That's something scary. Destroyed all my infernos. Oh no. Sustaining damage. 
Okay, this is where line move would probably save everything. What? What else is there? There's this. Yeah, line move would totally save my butt right about now. Because I wouldn't have to do this manual micro to try to get all this... No, it's not going to work. It's going to kite me to death. I wonder... I don't think retreat micro works in this game. I'd be surprised. I think conservation momentum is actually respected in this game. Oh no, not again. I'm falling behind. What are these? Oh wait, these are more of these. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Not so nice. Wait, what the heck is two not doing accompanying the rest of my forces? No, that's defense turrets. Oh, what? Can't build radar? That seems odd. My commander cannot build radar. That... That is an unexpected and unfortunate turn of events. I'll build more fa Oh. I feel like a complete fool. I've not been building that. Oh no, oh no. What? Why is D-Gun not working? D-Gun! Crap. Well, that's game. Embarrassing, but that's game. <sighs> oh wow. Sheesh, they had a lot of... A lot of mines? That's a thing? I guess it must be a thing. I didn't realize landmines were a thing. Okay. I forgot this is a game... Why did I forget this is a game where Commander ends? I I don't know. I'm playing weird. It's like, I'm used to a game where Commander kill does not end the game. Zero K does not end when the Commander dies. That's merely a mild inconvenience. It destroys a small amount of your economy. It does not make you lose. This game does. I forgot about that. Alright, let's try one more. Man, I started off strong. Did not end off strong. That's for sure. Yeah, let's do one more, and then I should probably call it, just on account of, well, I don't know, if people are enjoying it, maybe I can keep going. This is interesting. It's definitely, definitely a lot to this that I am not familiar with, but also kind of interesting, kind of cool. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to figure out if there are more things that I actually like, though. In terms of units that are added, not Titans, but the non Titan units. That Aurora replacement hovercraft thing, I'm not quite sure what it is. Curious if any of these can build radar. Anyway, that that's unusual. Not sure if it, I mean, it does a bit more damage than the main, I think it's the Bolo. Not really sure if it's worth it. Hmm. Okay, so this map... Wow! Apparently gonna have to learn naval really fast. Go! And I'll have to learn naval, because I don't know how that works in this game. But there's water. Doesn't look that bad either. Yeah. Whenever they're ready. My guess is that pinned opsis has a new feature because it does feel a little bit wonky at times. Like if I move this, it'll screw up the pinning, but it won't think it'll still think it's pinned. I have to unpin and repin, and that just seems like a bug. Let's try naval. Build a shipyard. And build... I guess an air factory. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm really not sure how many factories I really should be building in general. Oh, wait, this is... This is all islands? Yeah, there's one big island. I'm going to assume that I'm going to need to hold this, but I can probably get away with bots. Okay. I'm making the assumption that the second unit, the one right next to the fabricator, is sort of your base unit that you want to build a bunch of. I have absolutely nothing to base that on, but I'm assuming. Actually, it looks like the gunboat's actually the cheap one I want to go for. Oh well, let's see what's around. Presumably on this side. Yeah, I guess I'm taking the long way around, apparently. <sighs> you take the short way around, because they're probably going to be here. I shall just... Mark that for now. Mark my base. Okay, there we go. Got that settled. Enemy sighted. Enemy commander detected. Yep, I was right. Apparently, with absolutely no regard for the ocean. This vast ocean. Full of water. As oceans are wont to be. Where? Oh, I guess I can build it here. Actually, no, 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 you... I want you to build... They, they're they not respecting water, so I'm just going to take it all. X. X, T. I just build everything already. I don't imagine why that's so hard. I... <sighs> Right. Go up front. A little more of these. Are these both an infinite build? Yes, they are. Okay. Slowly making its way over. I imagine they must have built a shipyard by now. It seems weird that they wouldn't. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Energy reclaim. Because the trees. Hmm. Check that out. I'm not sure if the submarine's useful. I feel like it might be, but it's one of those things that I have the strange feeling is going to be not really that useful. If they don't go for C, what's the point? I don't think you can hit... Unless I can hit land. If I can hit land, then we're fine. Actually... Oh, shoot. Seriously, why can't you use the hotkeys? What the hell? Whoa! They're going for a com rush? Apparently they're going for a com rush right out of the gate. Well, okay. I'll have to. Oh no, no, no! Finish building that. What are you? What are you doing? Okay, so it looks like their commander must have built some stuff. Why are you not assisting? Assist that build. Yes, get rid of their anti-air. That'll work perfectly. I'm not kidding. It actually will, because that means that I have more room to use my own air. I don't have to worry about being bogged down. 
And it looks like even with the assist build, I actually do have room for another factory. No. Ah, vehicle factory, eh? Ah, proxy vehicle factory. That's what they're going for. Crap, do I have anything that actually deals with this well? Wait, why did I... Well, I guess that's what we have. I thought that was a bot factory. Is... Is the sea becoming my own... Well, well, at least gun gunboat diplomacy seems to be somewhat effective. For what's close enough to the ocean to actually make that matter. That vehicle factory is making me nervous. Do I have any advanced fabricators here? I do. How am I getting so little my forces? How many factories am I supposed to build? This is ridiculous. At least this will work fairly well. There, that's what these are meant for. Dealing with that sort of thing. Crowd control. Although admittedly, the Grenadiers do a wonderful job of that too, but still. Oh, hold back. Hold. He's a crap. Why is there no, like, stay at max range and kite automatically thing? Like, there isn't... Well, once again, it's okay. Why is there no fight move? Any fight move. Yeah, I think this is probably over. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we have a chance. Why is it... I, uh, I thought I put this on infinite build. Where did those go, anyway? No, really, where, where did those go? Where did those end up? find any of them. Turn it XT, not ZT. Why do I keep making that mistake? Oh, right, and this one doesn't seem to want to work with the hotkeys for some reason. Why do naval fabricators not work with hotkeys? vehicle has anything that's decent for crowd control. Stuff like that that's making me really nervous about playing this Like, I don't... I can't remember... I can't remember what things do. Actually... Hmm... Any advanced naval factory that gives me something useful? Ah... Building these could be of great use. My opponent failed to respect the ocean. As best as I can, I shall make them pay for this. Oh wait, assist this? What, are you th what am I thinking? Make that go faster. Oh no. Nothing built yet? Where's their commander? I need to kill it ASAP. 
Where's my, what's my radar range? Have I, why can't anything tell me what my radar range is? I, I need to know, it's, why does it not say what my radar range is? I need to know these things. Oh, shit. Oh, they were too far from shore anyway. I only have five factories, what's going on? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I realize I'm not building as many factories as I probably should build. But even when the factory counts are the same, I don't get it. <sighs> Whatever. I have probably should stop because it's been about an hour and that's usually what I do. So I hope you enjoyed that. My looking at planetary annihilation, it's improved. Definitely has improved. Most improved award goes to it. Probably will play more, actually. But not right now. Anyway, once again, I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for watching. And if you liked that, but are curious about what I'd normally do, which is similar, is 0k. Just check out my channel. It's up right now. That's normally what I do, usually Wednesdays, Saturdays, and on the YouTube channel there. Check all the casts for that. It's kind of like Planetary Annihilation, except on a flat map and with fewer units. But much more, like, it's meant to be more, like, distinct distinctness per unit. Like I said, it's kind of like Command and Conquer meets Total Annihilation. That's the best way, I think, to describe it. So, that... Anyway, that was that. Thanks for watching. I may do this again. I don't know. Probably will play this more, because it's... Like I said, it's actually not bad. So, like, not bad. That's... I thought it was bad before, so it's not bad now. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone.